Okay, today is March 24th, 2017, and right now at 10.30 a.m., we have a temperature of 50, or excuse me, 68 degrees in the foothills of Los Angeles. Uh, we have a barometric pressure of 30.12, and the relative humidity is up at 48%, and I, I do not have a dew point right at the moment. Um, <clears throat> we're looking at the uh, Northeast Pacific uh, Rainbow Loop. We can see a storm system here. This is like a 964 millibar system. We can see a uh, right angle forming on this uh, <clears throat> area right here. Actually, a rectangle. This is a transmitter manipulation from a satellite based transmitter, which is weakening this storm and also separating the frontal system. This will split away. We can see the split already occurring right here. There's high pressure. Uh, this transmitter is generating. Uh, descending air <clears throat> into the uh, center of this, actually the center of the storm is up here, but we have a a transmitter, the center of that uh, focal point of that transmitter is right in this area, which is causing that right angle, but also causing uh, high pressure, which is seen right here. We can see the clockwise rotation peeling that moisture away. Also, we have uh, <clears throat> the center of the storm is not too organized. We actually have some uh, clockwise rotation right here, where the pen tip is, right in that area. Also, uh, a <clears throat> weather system moving into uh, Canada and, and uh, the northwest uh, United States. We can see a right angle, a rectangle right here. And also on this system here, we have another rectangle forming on that, <clears throat> on that system as well. Now, right now, uh, we have heavy chemtrail spraying in Southern California and high pressure. And once again, that's why we have that 30.12-inch uh, uh, barometer reading, because uh, the weather controllers are deflecting <clears throat> this uh, frontal system into Northern California and, and not allowing it to drop down. And that's pretty obvious. Let's look at the uh, water vapor map. Once again, we can see this high pressure right in this area. Uh, this is the weather system that dropped, uh, <clears throat> dumped about five sixteenths of an inch of rain in the foothills a few days ago right here in Los Angeles. This has been allowed to rebuild. As we can see, that has a tight spiral. But let's look at the uh, the infrared map for the western uh, U.S., and we can see the uh, manipulation occurring. Look, at, look what happens here on the uh, very center of that uh, weather system. All this evaporation. Uh, <clears throat> destroys the uh, organization. The, the counterclockwise rotation has been destroyed. We can see that. And look what happens here to the uh, this frontal system. And we can see the right angle up here on this system right here. We've got high pressure installed right off of right over California, Southern California, and that will uh, prevent this from dropping down and bringing rain. <clears throat> now the chemtrails are being sprayed to. Uh, to maintain uh, <clears throat> low relative humidity conditions. So we're seeing uh, chemtrails being sprayed uh, over the Southern California area. If you go to the uh, big map, you can see this uh, storm system. This is uh, being manipulated as well. Right angle, uh, the frontal system is splitting away right here where all that manipulation is occurring. These are satellite-based uh, microwave transmitters and or uh, laser transmitters, light, laser light, probably in the infrared range. <clears throat> and uh, that is affecting the weather. And we see three red angles on three different systems. So uh, the weather controllers have allowed this to somewhat rebuild for the time being, but they are hitting that. That'll be delivering rain uh, out to the east. Let's look at the uh, Doppler map right now. We can see uh, that there is a lot of rain in uh, Northern California, Central and Northern California, but nothing down here. We've got a lot of chemtrail spring and that high pressure that's been installed. And uh, <clears throat> we can see uh, some transmitter manipulation right up here near uh, Orville. That looks like that Orville transmitter. Yep, right here. Just. Uh, east of the airport and the golf course. If you zoom into Oroville on Google, Google Earth, uh, there's an airport and a golf course 
I believe it is, and then just to the east of that, there's a transmitter that uh, sits very low on the uh, ground. This is all very flat land, so that transmitter right there is only about maybe two or three stories up. It's very short. It's a stubby. <clears throat> okay. Uh, heavy rain over here near Santa Rosa. We've got snow in the Sierra, which is good. Uh, we get some water from the Sierra, uh, Southern California. But yeah, no rain down here anywhere. Just a lot of chemtrails and we've, uh, you know, high pressure installed. So this is going to be just a short report. Uh, and of course, we see that Hawaii is protected. Notice the, the frontal system here. There's high pressure. We can see the outflow right over the islands. That will prevent any uh, further development of this system and uh, prevent it from dropping down. Go to the uh, rainbow map. We can see all that effect, all the evaporation right here. And we've got some moisture right to the uh, east of the islands, but uh, nothing, uh, maybe just a little bit of uh, thunderstorm activity here near the uh, southern portion of the big island. But for all pre uh, intents and purposes, this area here has been uh, protected. We can see that outflow, that semicircular uh, feature there where the uh, high pressure is, uh, the descending air is uh, uh, blocking uh, this weather up right here. And of course, we have a blockade all through here as well so that none of this moisture will join up with this uh, system here. So there it is, look at this. We got a right angle there, one here, and one right over here, sort of disorganized, but that is obviously being uh, superheated and destroyed. They're uh, hitting that pretty hard. Okay, so um, let's look at the surface analysis map. You can see that 963 <clears throat> millibar storm system. This is going to hook to the uh, north, uh, northwest, it looks like, for the time being. And then we have, uh, we have high pressure here, which is going to move back towards the United States. That's already happened. They're showing a cold front here. Of course, this is being blocked by all the high pressure that we were just showing. Here's a trough shown here. Uh, we did have a rain forecast for tonight in the uh, Southern California area, but I don't see how that's going to happen with the uh, high pressure. We got 30.12. Uh, we got the chemtrails, and of course the Doppler map tells the story as well. We also here's the uh, <clears throat> the swell report. We have uh, 13 foot uh, swells moving in. Uh, this uh, frontal system here is developing. Also, this is part of the jet stream, I believe. Let's go look at that one more time. I didn't look at the jet stream map, but there is some high speed flow uh, right through here. So this a portion of this has uh, got some high speed. That's generating the, uh, the high swells uh, right here. So there is a high surf advisory. We've got 15 and 16 foot seas all through here, 13 to 16. Okay, here, next is the uh, SSEC map. And uh, we can see the uh, situation here on the west coast. Get this storm out here with a right angle on it. And we have this frontal system moving in, which is being sprayed over. We'll take a look at the MODIS today map later. Right now it's not been prepared for today. It's not yet posted. Okay, so uh, that's the situation. We'll just leave it right uh, here. Actually, we'll leave it right here. Show those uh, feature those uh, right angles. Okay, that's it. Do another one later.